Mr. Speaker, America faces an energy crisis that threatens the livelihood of the people we represent. Every day they get up to go to work, many people wonder whether or not they can afford the gas for the tanks. And to compound it, the high cost of energy is destroying manufacturing jobs in our country. My largest city is at 11 percent unemployment. Many manufacturing facilities have been hit because of the high cost of energy. They simply cannot compete. Today we debate an energy bill that further compounds the problem. Last night the Democrats filed a bill that gives the illusion of opening up our coast to drilling, but really continues to keep those areas closed with no opportunity to debate it. Last May, I authored a 12-point gas relief plan that incorporates more domestic production of oil, conservation, and new fuel and vehicle technologies. Until these technologies come online, we have to increase our supply of oil to give us the relief that we need, to give us the time that we need. We have enough oil now in order to fuel 60 million cars for 60 years. Does it mean that we use it up all? Of course we don't. We simply need this as an opportunity for breathing time until we can develop these new technologies. The time has come to put partisanship aside and solve this issue on behalf of the American people. Gentlemen, Thank you. Gentlemen, yours back as time.